The remarkable chain of events that put Eric Holcomb on the fast path to becoming Indiana's 51st governor is no longer the story. What's especially notable now is the already long list of public policy accomplishments and important programs he's initiated. Some would say one of the most critical areas is the governor's continued focus on the state's opioid and drug crisis. It's the one area that gets me somewhat emotional just because you meet so many people, some of which are very close to you, who you know how hard they've struggled. You know that they want their life back, that they want their family back, that they want um, their, their true potential um, to be realized. For the business connection, the governor partnered with the Indiana Chamber and Wellness Council of Indiana to deliver the Indiana Workforce Recovery Program. That effort has enabled employers throughout the state to receive detailed guidelines and best practices. They also gain a much better understanding of the positive role they can play with their workers. And when you understand the toll that that's taking on the individual, and then therefore that family unit, and then therefore the community, and, and you, you watch that being ripped apart, you just want to do everything you can. Over the last two years, the Next Level Jobs Initiative has provided valuable assistance to companies retraining their employees and to individuals looking to boost their skills. More than 1,600 employers and 27,500 workers have taken advantage of the state paid training. The Last Mile program, now at five correctional facilities, is an example of Holcomb's push to help individuals looking to start over and employers with talent needs. This summer, the first graduation took place at the Indiana Women's Prison for those who successfully completed coursework to learn software engineering skills and how to code. When someone tells you that no one in their family has ever gone to college or owned their own home or determined their own destiny and now they are and now they're making 68,000 and own their own home and they get to look in families' eyes in the morning, not through bars, this is powerful stuff. The governor has also helped steer long-sought legislative policies across the finish line. These include increased pre-K opportunities for children from low-income families, to major long-term road funding, to additional capital and resources for entrepreneurs. In 2019, he led the charge to pass hate crimes legislation. His determination to get a meaningful state law proved to be the deciding factor. This topic was creeping into conversation uh, when we were trying to track uh, investment to the state of Indiana. And this is, this is not who we are as a people anyway, so I never really understood what's so hard about this um, because, uh, you know, our Hoosier hospitality runs deep and is true. And so I want that on full display, not the opposite. Now we're there. But Holcomb makes it clear he's far from finished. What drives me is where I want to see the state 10 years from now. 15 years from now, things that long outlive my time here, that we understand the mission is ultimately to become the best state in America for folks to have the opportunity to grow. Please welcome Governor Eric Holcomb, the Indiana Chamber's 2019 Birch By Richard Luger Government Leader of the Year.